literally man this is just so darn tasty just awesome <sighs> but you know what's more awesome is creating your own linux distribution and using it for your everyday task because we're talking about linux guys and linux gives us the ability to control every bloody thing of our system from drivers to codecs the core operating system the components like the desktop which tower you want to use for your network interface, your audio, and even there are numerous types of application of a particular application as well. You have the absolute control over your device. And today we're going to take it into a proper level where it should be. You see, building a Linux distribution is not pretty, you know, science stuff because we're talking about using or building a distribution for ourselves. We don't have to create a proper ISO for everyone. We just have to create a distribution on that machine for that only. You know, that's what we're going to do today. Now, let me just tell you the process in easy terms. You select the core component, which is the base. For example, if you like Arch, you can use Arch or Fedora or Ubuntu or Debian. Whatever base you prefer. For example, if you want a stable but reliable distribution, or operating system just go for Debian or Fedora but you want very vast extensive library of packages and application go for Ubuntu or you want the absolute control along with amazing performance and latest or greatest software go with Arch so you just have to choose one from them let's say I go with Arch because you know I like the latest software even if it means sacrificing the stability and then we create a bootable device of pure Arch from the official website. And that's going to take us to the terminal where we are going to do the real stuff. Now, you can build every bloody piece of shit from commands of like hours and hours of work or just use Arch install. Arch install will give you an interface to choose every component in an organized manner. And yes, in an efficient manner. So let's say you... Type Arch install and that leads you to the Arch installer. And there is what happens in the real world. Now, if let's say you choose Fedora, then there's an ISO called Fedora Everything or something like that, which gives you all the options of Arch install in a better manner, which are they like. Or let's say you want to go for Debian, then just download the Debian from the official website and you will get options for a graphical installer or just the same as the Arch install. But the process is almost the same. Now let's say here you can choose the drives, the you know number of users, your language, your even servers, your type of hard disk, everything. But the real deal will be the desktop because that's where your whole operating system is going to lie on because you know we need an interface which will communicate between the hardware, software and us. So you go with the desktop environments and there you can see almost every, you know, proper desktop environment along with a few window managers are available. Now, let's say I go with GNOME for, you know, now a lot of people think that GNOME is just very easy and for noobs, but it's not. GNOME is like a desktop a full flesh desktop which is like the native or pure android or stock android of linux because it gives us almost everything and we don't need to tinker it that much well we cannot tinker it that much because you know it's a fully fledged desktop environment and it gives you all the abilities you need to customize the desktop and reach way too many heights like really if you search Kanoom customization, a lot of my own videos are there on the, you know, YouTube. And then you just have to choose every component. And yeah, another thing, always use network manager or the interface which is used by desktop environments instead of the native ones because there are a lot of problems in that. And besides that, you can use almost anything you want because, and yeah, another thing, you can also tinker it you know tinker if you have time you can also tinker with every component and try which suits you best and let's say there it is everything's done now you just have to you know install the operating system and all the work of installing downloading will be done on your laptop or pc without you doing anything so you know let's say i choose every component and 
install it. Now the installer will do everything for me and it's gonna take like 10 to 20 minutes depending on the speed of your internet and your SSD. And in the meantime, <clears throat> you can enjoy your lunch. It felt super tasty when it was, you know, hot. But now after some time when it's colder, it has spent some time out there, it's not that tasty. And you know, this same thing also applies to Linux distributions and operating systems. Because in my experience, the longer you hold a Linux distribution on your PC, the bloated it gets by, you know, installation of various application dependencies, installing, removing, purging, managing, all that stuff. And as the Linux kernel is directly integrated to the base of these distributions, most of them, it's not a viable choice for you because anyhow, you will end up uninstalling you know the distribution and trying something else or even reinstalling the same thing because as time passes it's not gonna be that fast and that scene applies to your food as well so finish your food first and then do all the work but you know there is one way you can well i can make my food tasty again and that's it that's rewarming it or putting it putting the food in the microwave to make it hot again and if you are smart enough to understand what I'm saying, then you don't have to reinstall the complete operating system. Just do a system update and it will be as new as like that. But yeah, you will not get the same taste as it was really fresh and warm because now it's just warm, not fresh. And now I believe that's it for today. Well, not just today because I've been thinking about a lot of stuff and now I had come to a place where I seem to realize like I have created 90 almost 90 videos on this channel about Linux and open source or Fido OS, Android whatever and I believe this is time to change that because I don't you know it's not like I cannot make a lot of videos about Linux it's just I want to go beyond the boundaries of Linux you know create broader topics target a broader audience it's not like I'm stopping creating videos about Linux or stopping using Linux. It's actually the opposite. I'm going to use Linux as my base and go beyond the boundaries of Linux as well. And if you're smart enough to know, then I believe, let me just give you a hint. You see, the main thing is I'm thinking about using Linux to reach broader audience. Let's say I'm creating a video about coding or even AI, then I'm going to do all that stuff on my Linux distribution and the desktop or the theme I'll be using will be linked in the description and I'll review that as well. But the main thing is now I'm not going to limit myself just to Linux. I'm going to go beyond and I need your help in that. Just, you know, in the description, there's a link of my Discord channel and there you can tell me all the things you know about how I can go beyond the boundaries of Linux and target a broader audience and take this channel to newer heights. Until then, I know, standing out, finishing my lunch. It's still tasty.